God wants you to know that bad company corrupts good character. What do I mean by this? In 1 Corinthians 15, 33, Paul writes, Do not be deceived, for bad company corrupts good character. I don't think I speak for myself when I say that other people have a huge impact on me. At school, in public, wherever. I am impacted heavily by those around me. The way I laugh, the way that I talk, the way that I even walk is all changed by those who I surround myself with. You might have a opportunity in your life to change those around you. You might have an opportunity to make the bad company good company. And this is what we're called to do. We are called to make disciples of all nations. We are called to be a light in the world. We're called to be the salt of the earth. But that does not make us impervious to the enemy and his attacks. This is why we must surround ourselves with brothers and sisters of Christ. This does not mean, however, that we can't have unsaved or secular friends. Jesus himself sat and ate with sinners. But the only difference is that Jesus guided them to himself. He didn't just send them away when they were done eating and chatting. In any relationship, whether that be a spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or even just a friend, it's never mutual. If it's unequally yoked, it is never mutual. There's always going to be one side that is influencing the other. So the question is, are you going to influence the people around you, this bad company? Or is the bad company going to corrupt your good character? That's all. God bless.